you can start creating a landing page using any of our fully editable templates or from a blank template where the page is created from the scratch. Any of the templates allows you to add or delete elements, change colors of buttons, images in the backgrounds, backgrounds itself, and so on. You can also add or delete sections. I'll choose this template and the first thing I need to do is to name. Let's call it first landing page. When the editor is loaded, we can start editing the page. First of all, I'd like to show you the main page and the thank you page tabs. Main page will be shown to every visitor that lands on the address and a thank you page, called also a post conversion page, will only be shown to those who will submit the form. A little bit to the left, we have two views of our landing page, desktop and mobile. All the elements you add on the desktop are also visible on the mobile version, but also affects that view. You are informed about that by the red dot here. The elements on the mobile can be adjusted manually by moving them around within a section or using the two buttons, rebuild mobile that adjusts all the elements within the section and rebuild section with just the elements in the particular section. Getting back to the elements or widgets, as it calls, you can drag and drop them from the left-hand side panel on the editing section, which is the area in the middle. The columns on the left and the right are responsible for the responsiveness of a landing page. So here you cannot place any elements, but you can extend the background section to the full width. All the widgets within the template can be moved, deleted or duplicated. Any element can be also adjusted. Once clicking on the button or any other element, on the right-hand side bar, we have visual settings, like changing colors, fonts, or adding some rounded corners. Any section can be also moved to the top, to the bottom, duplicated or deleted. If there is a need, you can also add a new section by dragging and dropping it from the left-hand side widgets. As I mentioned before, the templates are fully editable, which means that you can change the background of any section by clicking on it and going to the background settings on the right. You can add plain color, image gradient or video, deciding also if the background should be filling just the editable area or should be extended to the full width of the page. For full width, just click the box here. To add a new element, all you need to do is to drag and drop it from the left-hand side to the editing section. Some of the elements have their own settings. Buttons, for example, can be used for redirectioning to any URL or another landing page. Uploading a file and then the user will be able to download on a landing page, linking to a specific section on a landing page or triggering a lightbox. Forms, on the other hand, in their settings, have options to add or adjust fields, creating a funnel in the next step option, which also allows you to redirect user to any URL or another landing page instead of the default thank you page that can be seen within the template. There are also integrations, so you can link the form with an email address or CRM, still being able to preview all the leads in the leads tab. And last but not least, autoresponder, which sends one automated email when a form is submitted. When the page is ready, you can publish it anytime on a testing domain to see how it looks in a browser. Last important thing to mention is page settings in the right top corner in additional options, where you can add some SEO details, social share descriptions, or favicon. I hope that you find this video useful. In case of any further questions, feel free to visit our help center or get in touch with us directly.